Hey guys, welcome back, and uh, things getting very interesting here. Things getting very interesting indeed. We got Lady Pyramon here uh, saying that Merlin and Khan in this picture up here are one and the same. So this guy is definitely uh, up to no good because he's using two different names. So let's talk more about this motherfucker. The man you know is Merlin is a fake. What do you mean, sweetie? He's a murderer. He also uses the name Khan. I am shocked, Mr. Stable. Shaken. I took him to be a gentleman. A man of honor. You know, I'd rather like to assist you in stitching him up. Why, thank you. When did you last see Merlin? It was no more than an hour ago. He came downstairs and spoke to that clerk chappy. Something passed hands. I couldn't see what exactly. A briefcase? No, smaller than that. A bundle of papers, perhaps. The clerk put it in the hotel safe and Merlin went out. Are you sure you saw Merlin putting documents in the safe? Yes, darling. Positive. I wonder what they were. Obviously something of great importance. Yeah. I'd sure like to get my hands on whatever it is. I'll bet they had something to do with Plantow's briefcase. Has Merlin returned to the hotel? No, he hasn't. Are you going to search his room? If I could get in there, I would. So we need to get into Khan's room. I, I have to go, ma'am. I prefer calling him Khan rather than Merlin. I don't know why. I recognized the guy. It was the Nobel Prize winner from the country whose name I couldn't pronounce. Excuse me, didn't I see your picture in the news? You're that Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. Yes, that is me in Polish. I don't want to worry you, but have you had any threats on your life? You know, mysterious phone calls, letters made up of headlines cut from the newspaper. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, let's talk about Plantar. Do you know a guy called Plantar? I don't know anybody in Paris. Oh, well, this guy's dead anyhow. Why do you ask me about dead men? I have seen enough of death to last me a lifetime. I'm, uh, sure you have. Have you seen a clown? I beg your pardon? The clown. A guy in funny pants. Have you seen him? My pants are from England. Marx and Spencer. They are a pleasure and a comfort to wear with much support. I'm real glad to hear that. You know, it's good to know you Nobel Prize winners are human too. In my country, the people make do with string and egg cartoons. For pants? For everything. Oppression is the mother of ingenuity. I wonder what country is actually meant to be from. May I shake you by the hand? I do not shake the hands of imperialist dogs. Now that's a real bad attitude problem you've got there. Do you recognize this man? He calls himself Khan. Yes, I know this one. Why do you carry his photograph? I'm a private detective. What's your interest in Khan? He is an enemy of my people. You know he's a killer? Of course, amongst other things. Would you help me investigate Khan? That is not possible. My instructions are to observe. I cannot jeopardize my position as an honored guest of this country's government. So this guy is quite the mystery over here. I wonder if there's any more to come from him. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. I'd go upstairs, but there's actually no point right now because we don't have the key to get into Khan's room. But there is a key over here. Hanging from a brass hook was a key and a plastic tag. It 
excusez-moi, monsieur. What? You are trying to steal that key, non? Non, ouais. Non, ouais. There was no one registered under the name of Khan. If the killer was staying here, he'd used a different pseudonym. The clerk wore a disdainful expression, like he'd been born with it. I want some information. Who are you? The police? I'm conducting a private investigation. Ah, I know only too well what you mean. That is one of the drawbacks of the catering business. When people book into an hotel, they leave their morals at home, no? I'd like to retrieve something from your safe. Ah, oui, monsieur. May I see some form of identification? Uh, like what? A driving license, perhaps? I don't drive. Your passport? I don't have it with me. I could show you my operation, Scar. I'm sorry, monsieur. I must have some form of unique ID. You won't find a more unique ID than my Scar. I'm sorry. I must insist on a more traditional identification. Rats! About the key hanging on the hook over there. Oui, monsieur. Which room is it for? Number 21. Is that room taken? No. The guests checked out this morning. I'd like to check into room 21. That is not possible. How come? You said it was vacant. It is reserved for another guest. Rats. No, monsieur. Dutch. Do you know a man named Plantow? No, monsieur. I'm looking for a man who dresses like a clown. This is a highly respectable hotel, monsieur. There are no clowns here. If you say so. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Yes, monsieur. That man is one of our guests. What name? <laughs> I cannot tell you that. Hey, shake my hand. I'd rather not, monsieur. I'm still sore from the shock administered by one of the guests. He was secretly concealing an electrical device in the palm of his hand. Practical jokes are so puerile, don't you think? Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks for your help, buddy. So, we need to get that key somehow. And we, and we also need to get something from the safe over there. Something quite important, I assume. So, I'm going to wrap things up. But before I uh, do so, I need to show you guys something outside here that's going to come into play later. Just a minute, monsieur. What's your problem? No problem. If you cooperate. What do you want? Just a routine security check. Nothing to worry yourself about. Oh, well, all right. Search him, Flat. You bet! Hey, knock it off. Get off, you big ape! Nothing, Guido. Zilch! Our apology, monsieur. What? I had to report you to the authorities. Right here, we are the authorities. You want I should break his arms? No. Let him go, Black. That's quite an important part, so you guys better remember that. Later on, when I try to exit the hotel later, so I'll see you guys uh, later man and uh, we'll be trying to get that key to room 21 I believe. So farewell, hope you enjoyed that part, next part coming soon.